bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. Hey guys! Howdy! What's up and welcome back or to The Roomies Digest. My name's Christine. I'm Monique. And today we're going to be talking about our October TBR. No, we're not. No, we're not. I mean, not. I guess we are talking about the TBR. Whoa. But... I just had such a moment. Yeah, but I mean, it's still kind of technically accurate, you know? Wow. We're talking about the books we said we are going to read, and then... We're actually not talking about the books we said we are going to read. We're going to talk about the books we read. Actually read. But... Because some of them I said I was going to read, didn't pick them up. Do you want to know why? You want to know why? I'm sure the people would love to know why. There's a little book I've been reading called Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Finishing that up. And uh, it's put me in a massive reading slump. <gasps> what is reading? <laughs> so Tolkien's impact <laughs> has impacted me, you know, to the core. And Tolkien, me and him, we're going to talk about it whenever we meet. In death. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry, that laugh was so funny. <laughs> I can't. Re I can't recreate it. But <laughs> wow. sheer madness. I'm so glad that's on camera. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and start it off with movie night book club. Yes. We read Lord of the Rings last month, and while I had fine time, I mean, I I definitely. Mm, I felt like I was reading the director's cut of this book, but... Yeah, that's... I don't want to go too far in depth in my thoughts with this book because there will be a vlog coming out in the near future about it, but yes. I mean, I think you guys can tell it took me, what, half a year? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe close to half a year if I keep this pace, you know? Because I, I... I'm not going to go into it depth, but yeah, me and Tolkien... Mm. I enjoyed it. I mean, it was obviously very descriptive. It's everything that everybody says, you know, are we running up that hill for 20 chapters? But I really liked it. And I'm really glad that I actually got to read my like mass market paperback copy with like the movie version on the front. I just had a really good time. Will I be going into the second one anytime soon? Never enough. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I'm really excited Never. that we got to read this for movie night because now we get to stream the movie which will be streaming next weekend for anyone interested yeah you guys know what to do hit we, our discord yeah if you guys are interested in joining movie night like monique said you can join our discord down below we've got the links and if you don't know what movie night is at all like you just came in here cold turkey movie night book club is a movie related book club where we read books and then we watch the movies that are made they from the books we're based on yeah yes, so yeah so we'll be streaming fellowship of the ring this weekend. Speaking of books that we read for vlogs, we read these books. Well, on the Aardvark book box. Mm -hmm. Our thoughts are definitely in the video link above. Yes. Somewhere. Yeah. And so we go into depth about about these books. You know, we're... love and hate, those two emotions, mm -hmm. they're in the vlog. I will say, judge a book by its cover and tell me which one you think would be the best. I would love to see what you guys think. Do not do that with the ones in my hands. Okay. I say do it because personally, ah, okay, fair. Anyway, yeah, so we did we did do a little vloggy poo trying out Aardvark, their new book box that they've got going on. So if you guys are interested in that um, vlog, you can obviously click the link. And if you're interested in the book box, which is great because they're Canadian based, so they ship to Canada. Ah, yeah, that's I didn't this is based in yes, Canada. Yes, this is this is the appeal. This is the appeal. Okay. Then you can get all that information, which is going to be linked down below in our description box. Anyway, speaking of Canada, this is like really the only other book I read this month. <laughs> rings really took it out of you I, I started a lot of different books but i was just like what is reading anyway i can't wait to be done with my ring um <laughs> so yeah speaking of canada i knew they were on an island and but i'm seeing the cover and it looks like the pacific northwest you're like whatever it's like a general area and i'm reading it and there was a line that said like shut up bozo and he's like what are you gonna do eh and i said is this in canada i've never read a sentence more canadian in my life so what I, are you gonna do eh he was like shut up bozo and i was like what's happening i, I mean my the main, scary no. mind you the main characters are 14 year olds so but it was just very like canadian i don't know what it, it just screamed canadian so i looked on the back and i was like ah yes they are in the canadian wilderness they are on an island off of the coast of Canada. Now that I have that full, you know, information, it was a great 
time this book I told people I was gonna vlog it but I did y'all a service by not because it would have just been me dry heaving um probably every half ch few chapters because it was gross <laughs> very gross very vitamin and very descriptive and you guys were not wrong but you want to know something i gave this book five stars because i was engrossed nick cutter you love giving these gross books five stars i cannot believe i cannot i don't believe. know who i am maybe i can do i don't know who i am I don't know who I am, but... Like a recommendation video of books that will make you throw yes, up. Yes, <laughs> this is top five in the list because I think it's because I really like the characters and I am now realizing I'm a character-driven person, but the plot was good too. So it was like the best of everything, which makes what? That adds to a good book, which means it can't be lower than a four. And I was close to giving it a four because I was like, I am really like, my stomach kind of hurts and there's a lot of... I'm so glad I didn't read this. Wow. Yeah, don't ever read this book, Christine. Tra promise you, it will be traumatizing because they have a... Just please read the triggers because there's lots of things I don't even want to mention on camera. But, um, you know, they just do a lot of harm to things in nature. But yeah, five stars. I like this book. Wow. What a, what a fun time. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's kind of like a science fiction, you know. Mm. I'll go to my five star from last month. So if you guys follow us on Instagram, you know that I read A Lady for a Duke, which is a historical romance, but it follows a trans main character. And when I say that I was screaming, <laughs> okay, it was just so cute. <laughs> like it was literally just so cute. And I love this story so much. So Viola, our main character is basically, um, a soldier at the Battle of Waterloo, but then suddenly, like, not suddenly, I guess, seemingly, mm -hmm. she dies, right? As her death kind of like comes upon all of her friends and family and stuff, it's really, really sad, but for her, it gives her the opportunity to be her true self, aka Viola Campbell, I believe. Carol, Carol, that's her last name. So it starts off kind of like at that point where she is kind of under, I don't wanna say undercover, but like obviously she's not who she used to be because she used to be like a pretty well off person. She had like lots of land, she had lots going for her. And now she has to be like a lady's, you know, handmaid. But she is, you know, her brother's wife's lady's handmaid. Okay, you get what I'm saying? You see the, see the dots there? So it's her sister-in-law. I could have okay. said that. Thank you. I could have said that. I really had to go down. Yeah, I, I, add yeah. The, the I was numbers. just adding to the drama. But anyway, so that's who, you know, she's with now. And she hears about her old friend, the Duke of Gracewood, Justin. She hears that he is very depressed. He is going down a hill. He is not doing well because he found out that his bestie died in the Battle of Waterloo, AKA oh. Viola. Okay. So she goes to what? his house. Yeah. To like what? help him. Yeah. Yes. What do you mean? What? 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 Is this a phrase to lovers? Yeah, because the Justin is so distraught that his friend died and he doesn't understand that the love he has for, you know, Viola Ew. was because he was like in love with Just Viola. Justin oh. is the guy's name. So Viola goes there and the guy starts having feelings for her and he's like, you remind me of somebody. She's like, well, <laughs> and that's the book. I mean, like, that's the wow. premise. So yeah, like, lots of drama, lots of lots of stuff going on. Like, I don't read a lot of historical romance, but this one definitely has a special place in my heart. It was very, very fun, very, very cute. And I will say that this is written in a, in an older type of, I guess, um, like style, but it's not, it's not like what I would say is a traditional historical so not romance. Jane Austen. Yeah, because there's definitely some like more modern terms so I might and phrases. Like it. Yeah, I think so. Okay. It was very cute. It was very, very cute. So highly recommend. And also though Viola is a trans main character, it's not necessarily about her being trans, if that makes sense. You know, it more centers around their romance. Kind of staying in the same vein of Alexis Hall. I also read Boyfriend Material and this book was just so cute. 
Okay, the premise is there is a young kind of like a uh, rock star's son and he has kind of like a bad reputation. So that doesn't really work for him because he works for a charity foundation. And so to kind of like make his reputation look better, he does a fake dating um, situation with this. What? Yeah, with this really smart lawyer guy who is actually, you know, really sweet and very caring and love me and sue okay love me and sue i read this one because i obviously saw that husband material came out which is the second book <gasps> to this one there's a follow-up and i was like i gotta read it like i gotta read it you kidding me a romance with a sequel hello that is a dream okay yeah so i'm it's very cute your copy yes it's a library book Dang. is it yeah. is it something that i can read i mean you can read it if you read it like now it's like, so it's due. like today it's due due okay but yeah, so anyway, I gave this one a four stars. It was very, very cute. I was, I read this, all, I think like in a day. Like that's how quick it was. I was just like eating this up, eating it up. Very, very cute. So I knew I was going to like it because I liked the writing style in A Lady for a Duke. So I was like, okay, I'm going to read this one. So now I can read, you know, husband material and have a great day. Nice. It was a good time. It was a good time. Nothing you want to talk about? I mean, I think I should just wait. You know, I got, it's not, you know. I have one more thing, but let's just... Okay, we'll leave her for a surprise. So the next thing that I ended up reading was actually this graphic novel that we got from Penguin Teen. I have seen this kind of floating around, but I didn't really know like what it was about. But what really drew me to it is the... I won't go that far. Is the art on it. It's very nice. Very nice. It's very good a color. Very nice. A yeah. Color, um... Graphic novel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing with like graphic novels is the art style has to be cute to me or I'm not going to read it. And unfortunately, that's just the visual part of me. But essentially, this is about a young girl who lives in California and her and her family have to go back to the Northeast because there are killings in that area. And that's where her parents like coven is. Oh, so she's yeah so she's a witch and so she doesn't really have control of her power she doesn't really like she, she doesn't really know much about she's the coven really in herself mm -hmm. but you know she goes back to kind of like learn these things and and figure out who's killing people and stuff like that it was actually very very cute i really really liked it little lgbtqia rap in here and it was just a fun time i gave it a four stars like it was it was, it was good it was fun got me into the season and that's pretty much the scariest thing that i read last month i wanted to read more spooky book Books. more spooky boots <laughs> um yeah i wanted to read more spooky books but i just didn't get to them last month it was a it was a really busy month hence why i'm wearing my horror movies and chill shirt yes because that's the scariest thing that i read and then last but not least this is a shock y'all this is a shock this is a surprise this is a crazy time you gave this a good rating i read the fine print and you gave it what? By Lauren Asher. And you gave it what kind of store? And I gave it a four, four stars. stars. Okay. <gasps> Tell us why. Please. Four stars. Okay, so this is the thing. I read this because of the bingo board that we are doing, the Broke Bitches Book Buying Band, where you have to give an author a second chance. That's the only reason why I picked up this book. That and the fact that I already owned it. So I was like, look, I'm just going to read it. Call it a day. I read this and I felt like this was a Disney expose. Like I thought that they literally were exposing Disney for who they are in this book. But also the romance was so cute. Like it was just so cute. Like I don't know how to explain it. It was so much better than Throttled y'all. I gave Throttled 2.5 stars to put it into perspective. So if you hated Throttled, Try the fine print, okay? Unless you hate Disney, then don't do that. You know what I mean? Don't even put yourself through it. But it was very, very good. Like, I don't know what it was about this book, but I just ate it up. Like, I really, really liked it. And there was this um, part to it that was um, a disability rep. And it, it was woven so well into the, like, theme park storyline because it was highlighting these things about how a lot of the rides aren't accessible to mm. other kids like kids with disabilities and they had they had a little bit of that in there and I just I loved it I really liked it and I'm very interested in the brother's story like they're the other two brothers in this uh, trilogy and there's one that I think he's gonna have a marriage of convenience like I think that's the next book and I'm just like I'm real excited I'm really excited. So I'm pleasantly surprised, guys. Pleasantly surprised. Now, is the pacing still a little bit like Throttle? A little bit? Yes. But very, very good. 
much better. And I, I really I applaud am, you, Lauren. I am just love to hear you say that because, you know, Thrall was her debut novel. Yeah, and definitely a difference you, in the writing. You can only get, you know, hopefully as you... Better. You can only get mm -hmm. better, you know? Yes. And, and hopefully, is, you know... This is why we give... We give authors a second chance. I also really like this one because they had a tech, like the texting trope. I don't know if that's a trope, but that's a thing. It was just like them texting back and forth for a little bit. And I really like that sometimes. Like if they, it's done right and it's cute, I really like it. So that was definitely like something that was in this book that I enjoyed as well. So yeah, it was a fun time. Very much shock. Very much shock. Mm. Very much shock. Well, speaking of very much shock and a fun time, I attempted to read a picture book that I purchased a while back. Um, I'm going to be honest and say I didn't make it too far in, but I do want to say that I just am updating you guys on my Korean language learning journey, and I recognized a few sentences. You want to read us a passage? Maybe the title of the book? <laughs> the title, huh? You want me to say the title out loud? Uh -huh. The title? Okay, the title. I don't think I should say the title, you know, right now. Why? All right, I'll try. This font is so hard to read for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, okay, okay. Yom Soro. Yom Soro Byon Han. Byon Han Duck. So I know it means a goat and a chicken, because that word means chicken. But there's another word in there. I think that might be one, one Han, might be one goat with some chickens. Anyway, the point is, I don't really know what was going on in the plot. I think this person has, a farmer has to take care of a goat and some chickens. But I recognize some counters I've been learning and uh, you know, I realized it might be about actually a rabbi. So <laughs> <laughs> I learned a new word and I was like, oh, that means rabbi. So I'm not really sure the plot of the book, but I will keep you guys updated on my progress. But yeah, that's how I would you know, show that I bought a book and I actually read it. You attempted, yeah. I attempted it and that was, you know. That'll be the day when she comes in and she's when like, When I bring I up the Anna Green whole... Gables, that's when you knew I'm on another level. That's a chapter book? Yes, when I'm on the Anna Green Gables, the Korean Anna Green Gables. That's such a good one to like learn too. You yeah, because you, you kind of already know the plot yeah. and yeah. you're like, okay, so. But this one was a little tough, but I don't know that many animals, so everything was just like, okay. Yeah, but it's okay. Yes. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's the name of the game. It was a very kooky time. A very kooky time. Like y'all, the truth, y'all was not wrong about this book. <laughs> I would say what it's about, but that would give away. So I'll tell you though, because you're never going to read it. I'll tell you off camera. But that is it for our October wrap up. Uh, if you guys like this, you know what I'm going to say. Like the video and subscribe for us, please. It really helps us out. And we look forward to seeing y'all on the next one. Comment down below what you're reading. And if you've read The, tr the Troop. Actually, that is the title of the book. I was going to say The Trope, but I said it right. I said it right. I said The <laughs> Troop. It came out. Anyway, what I'm saying is, if you read The Troop, let me know without spoiling anything how gross it was for you. Because, again... I really think you should do a video, like a gross read of a, 2022 or something. I have a few TikTok sounds picked out, so maybe I'll add it to the YouTube shorts, you know, mm. so you guys will know what, what I did here. But yeah. Okay. Okay. But anyway, that concludes this video, right? Mm. Okay. Until next time. Bye.